climate change. Coral reefs are one of the most important aspects of marine life in our oceans and seas around the globe. When it comes to our ecosystems, coral reefs are considered to be one of the highest in biodiversity because of the over 1,000 species of coral that thrive there. There are more than 2,500 species of coral on the planet, and about half of those, which are the hard corals, make up the coral reefs we are familiar with today. In this video, we are going to discuss the effects that climate change has on these wonderful phenomenons we call coral reefs. Do you know which reef is the largest in the world and where it is located? You guessed it. It's called the Great Barrier Reef and it is located near the coast of Queensland, Australia. Decades of research has been conducted by dive teams and marine biologists who study this coral reef and others. We have learned a lot of important information related to climate change and how it affects these important and natural marvels. In fact, these studies have indicated that if we can keep coral reefs healthy, then, in turn, the reefs will help keep our oceans healthy as well. This is of the highest importance because of how dependent we all are of our marine life and our ocean's ecosystems. As we learn more and more about climate change, we also learn how it affects coral reefs and other marine life. One of the occurrences that happen in part because of climate change is coral bleaching. Although coral can continue to live after bleaching occurs, this is usually not the case. Bleaching happens when algae that lives inside tissue of coral polyps is expelled. Coral and algae normally live in an endosymbiotic relationship, but due to rising water temperatures, the leading cause of coral bleaching, these algae are not able to survive and are forced to evacuate the coral tissue. This causes the coral to starve to death and is usually the cause of large areas of coral reef to die off. It has been determined that every 14 seconds, we lose about a football field-sized area of reef because of coral bleaching. But it is not all bad news. There are things we can do to help these beautiful aquatic fields of life remain a valuable part of marine culture. The first thing we can do and focus on is reducing the things that we all do that contribute to climate change. There are many articles written on the internet that will give you ideas on how you can make a contribution to help our oceans and reefs stay healthy. It is important that we all understand that coral and other marine life depend on us more than we probably know. By cutting our pollution footprint, which is detrimental to marine life, we can exponentially reduce the impact that pollution has on our coral reefs and the rest of our planet. I don't know about you, but I would thoroughly enjoy being able to see coral reefs and all other marine life thrive, so we will continue to be able to enjoy these beautiful creatures and formations. That's it for today. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button and leave us a comment below. Also, subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you are alerted every time we post a new video. See you next time!